How's it going everybody? Lucian here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video we're going to be going over how to set up your very own Enshrouded server on Windows. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to open up our browser and we are going to search for Steam CMD. And then we're going to click the first link, click on Windows, and then click this one right here, and then we'll download CMD. We're going to open this folder. We're going to minus the browser. I'm going to extract this. And then I'm going to take this folder right here. Control X to cut it. Go to my C drive. Create a new folder. Call it server. And then I'm going to go into that folder. Do Control V to paste it. And then I'm going to go into here, go into the Steam CMD folder, and then run Steam CMD. Let that initialize. We're going to go back to server, create a new file. No, I'm sorry, create a new folder. We'll call it Enshroud It. To enter, go into that folder, then click up in this bar right here. That will highlight it like this, allow us to copy it. Now we're going to go back to SteamCMD here. Should be done initializing by now. We're going to do force underscore install underscore DR for directory. Then we're going to paste that in. And then we're going to add a uh, trailing slash to that and hit enter. Then we're going to do login anonymous to enter. Right, and then we're going to do app underscore update and then the dedicated server app ID is 22785520 Then we do space and we're going to do validate and then hit enter. We're going to go ahead and let this download and it will vary depending on your internet connection. So let's go ahead and wait for it to download. All right, now that this is done, we can just type in exit. Now to close it. So in order to get our config file, we do need to run the server once. So in order to do that, we're just gonna do and try to server, double click on it, and it will start running. If this pops up for you, just hit allow access. All right, once your server says this stuff right here, about the freighter transition, we're going to hit control C to close it. And then we have the enshrouded server.json file right here. We're going to open this, use whatever editor you want. I'm just gonna use notepad. Then right here, you can change the name of your server. You can call it solution server. And if you want the server to have a password, you can do so here. Keep in mind these two ports right here, because we're gonna be using them here in just a second. Once you get done editing your settings, you can do Control S to save it and then close it. Before we turn our server back on, what we're going to do is go to our firewall. So type in firewall, click on the advanced security option one. We're going to go to inbound rules, create a new rule, go to port, hit next, leave it on TCP. We're going to do that port, and then we're going to do a dash or a hyphen, whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to do 15, 6, 3, uh, 7. Then we're just going to copy all of this. And then hit next, next, next. And we'll just name it. You can put whatever name you want in here. This is what I'm going to name mine. Click on finish. Then we'll go back. To create a new rule, port, next, UDP this time. We'll paste those ports in, hit next, next, next. You can name it, whatever you want. I'm doing the same name I did last time, but I'm gonna put the UDP in here, the TCP, and then clicking finish. And once that's done, we are pretty much done. The server setup on this is extremely simple. All you need to do now is start your server back up. 
servers back up. So now all you gotta do is launch the game and look for the name of your server or you can search for the name of your server and you can play. Now, if you want the server to be public to where people outside your network can join, then you will have to do some port forwarding. Unfortunately, I don't go over port forwarding in my videos. For everybody, it's, it's pretty different. So it's kind of hard to explain that for everybody's situation. Um, if you need to, best way to do it is look up what kind of router you're currently using and then go to YouTube or Google, search up your router and then how to port forward on that router. So you can port forward the same two ports that we just did in our firewall, do that on your router. And then people from outside your network will be able to connect and join your server. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you on the next one.